ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, a little bit of a somber moment this morning because I am sitting up here after leaving my water acclimation system on. It's basically a dehydrator, but the way it does, it pulls the moisture out of the air and converts it to water. Aqua! 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 Anyway, when it converts it to water, it is without the radiation that's in the atmosphere and all the chemtrails that's in the atmosphere because the air is filtered and the condensation is the acclimation of water that it produces. Pretty good system. The only thing it is, it doesn't have the minerals in it. It's just the aqua, aqua, aqua. And so it's been on, but it's cold, y'all. It ain't cold and, you know, it ain't really cold because it ain't cold, but running it, I can't run the heater because the heater takes the moisture out of the air, and I needed it to produce two gallons of water. And so it's been on since, what time did I turn it on? I believe I turned it on at 6 a.m. this morning. And when I turned it on at 6 a.m. this morning, it is now 9, and it has produced my two and a half gallons of water. Yay! And so, what I have are blueprints for producing these things, and we're going to do it for the people in this community here. We're going to come up with a, an efficient and cheap way for doing it so that individuals are not having, I uh, guess, it's the dehumidifier, um, finding one with low wattage and so forth, will be able to produce something that is stylish and efficient and using regular materials you can buy at a so-called so hardware store. So we're getting ready to put that together. We'll be working on that on the sides. And then we'll be working on the TTOPP, the designs for those homes that we talked to you about before. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, many of you often are not aware that judges are not allowed to violate your rights. They... All public officials have to be bonded. Why? Because so as to protect you. They have to be bonded to protect the state. Because if the officials violate your rights, they're doing so on behalf of the state. And their color and or authority of law, which is a crime. I have filed a arbitration request for um, asking the court to order the hearing. And so basically you can request a court to compel them to participate in an arbitration hearing. And I did that with the state of Washington because I wanted to follow the rules and the law. Because Amazon has that you can only do it in the state of Washington, even though I modified the agreement, I decided to test Amazon's system out in the state of Washington. I sent them a copy of the arbitration agreement and all the information in November, November 10th, 2022. As of this date, these idiots, the court hasn't filed anything. They haven't communicated nothing back. They haven't returned anything. So I called the court yesterday and spoke with one of the clerks. Oh, well, we would have sent it back. To, no, you, well, that was one of the suggestions she said why it wouldn't have been filed. I said, no, because <laughs> she said she wanted to check to see if they returned it. I said, oh, no, because if you had returned it to me, then I would definitely be filing a claim against your bond because I don't play that returning my documents to me without just telling me what additional information you need. Because I'm not going to just take everything and send it all back to you again, being of greater expense to me. You already have the initial paperwork. So all you need is for me to give you whatever the deficiency is. And that way, everything is queasy peasy. <sighs> well, I can have such and such call you back if you don't mind giving me your information. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I will have something in the mail out to you later today. So thank you for taking the time. You have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't give up about them. They're interfering with a matter that is greater than $4 million against two separate entities. Well, actually, it's greater than $24 million because the actual uh, original agreement between the parties with the arbitration clause 
is maxed out at $4 million per incident per, per issue. Well, there are 27 different items plus three different situations because they sent everything, I returned everything back to them. And they're, it's called logistics with Amazon. The logistics department didn't appreciate that I took everything and put it in one box since it was going to the same location and put it in one box and sent it back to them. They say it that I needed to put the appropriate label. And I said, no, because you have to scan in everything that you receive and document the fact that you receive it. The law says that I only need to return your junk to you. And our agreement is that I return your junk to you. They didn't appreciate that. So one time when I did it, UPS literally lost the entire package. Six items. Over $900 worth of items in that box. UPS lost it. Then when I tried to file a claim with UPS, they said, oh, no, Amazon is the shipper. I said, it was shipped from my house. I know, but the label came from Amazon, so they the shipper. Oh, that, that's a bunch of bullshit. And UPS says, well, ain't nothing we gonna do. Left me on hold, literally, not joking, for three hours. And I've never done anything. So it's time to play. So I'm going after the bonding information for UPS, Amazon, and the court, the clerk of the court, the presiding judge of the court, and the court itself, going after three different bonds. So I went into perplexity, and as you see, it's supposed to be what is the proper way, uh, proper procedure for filing a claim against the bond of a public official. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what is the proper procedure. Sorry, trying to make the screen bigger so y'all can see, but it 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 ain't letting me make my screen bigger. What's wrong with you, computer? Come on now, it's supposed to be the three finger swimmable woo, and it ain't letting me do it, y'all. So y'all just gonna have to bear and grit it. Grit it and bear it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. I mean, every other time it do it, but this is a different browser. And this browser says that, oh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is a different browser. I do that down here. See that right there? This is Vivaldi. 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 Okay. The proper procedure for filing a claim against a bond of a public official includes finding out who the bond who bonded the offender, making contact with the bonding company claims department, and feeling or filing the security bond claim. The security bond claim. The security bond claim. That's what it's called. So how to file a claim against the surety? I said security surety bond. Of these official the obligee the insurance company may also recommend disciplinary action such as taking action on the bond by filing a claim the written report must be filed in accordance with this section right here the process may require a thorough investigation resources such as level bond claim guide can provide additional information about bond claim construction. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to click on that link because I'm interested about this guide. And I will put the link. Well, this is for Washington, I do believe. It may or may not be for Washington, but I did it for Washington in particular because that was bond claim figure the X question. Now, I'm going to send this to all of y'all. Y'all going to get this because remember, you got a judge that has done you wrong. Well, follow the procedures, people. Judges are bonded. Okay? Judges are bonded. Watch this. We're going to ask perplexity.com. You, you need to pay attention, y'all. Washington State Judge Bond Claim Form. Ain't nobody asked you for you. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Washington State Judge Bond Claim Form. Department of Labor and Industries provides a continuous contract surety bond form which can be used to file a claim against the bond of an elected official such as a judge. Lord have mercy. No, no, y'all going to thank me for this because all of this time, pay attention, people, all of this time I've talked about it and I've heard other people talk about it, but I've never seen anybody show you. All of this time, ladies and gentlemen, I told you this is the year of the suit. Let's 
get some act right. Do you know that if a judge has two claims on their bond, if a judge has two claims on their bond, it's all over? Now, y'all know they're going to come after me now. <laughs> and that's okay, because I told you the God I serve, his name is Jehovah. I'm not putting him to the test. He's already assured me. And my communications with him, as long as I'm respectful to them, as long as I follow the law, then I don't need to worry. So what I am doing to all of you is I am going to show you how to process this. Now, watch this. I'm gonna add this to a letter that I'm already creating. So I gotta copy this and I need to, okay. All right, I gotta open up this document right here, right here. And at, after I open up this document, cause I gotta, this is for a different court and I've already sent them the request for their bond information. But now that I have what I need, I can start putting together these templates. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't get a break, and I am starting to realize that I need a break. So I'm going to give you guys what I'm doing so that you all can duplicate it. Forget filing lawsuits. I sent my paperwork, plus, you'll see in a second, the receipt. So I have to put this in here like this, uh, because what we're doing is one, two, three, four. And we got to go one, two, three, and then four. And then we go here, one, two, three, and then four. And then we go here, one, two, three, and then four. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. So y'all got to bear with me for a second because I do this often. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, the pause button or the standby button is right next to the delete button. And so when I was hitting the back button, which is delete, uh, that was causing the problem. <laughs> okay. Whew. So what happens is I am going to incorporate this into hey little walter mr kevin so kevin comma i asked you to incorporate the procedures for the state of washington into the letter comma along with the rest of the information i was requesting comma, why didn't you incorporate the following? Question mark. I need you to show me what the letter would look like if written by a paralegal incorporating the following, colon. Stop listening. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin is an idiot. And sometimes he needs some proper coaching oh look at that it says look homie you can't talk to me like that and every time you talk to me like that i'm gonna keep messing up and i'm gonna be like look here mother i'm gonna talk to you how but i won't because this is my show okay it, it's not the kevin and eon show it's the eon show and it ain't got nothing to do with kevin so there you go now do you see ladies and gentlemen i don't have to do anything anymore we've been spending all this time trying to figure out how to put a document together and how to word it and everything uh-uh he this is his third letter but what i do is i go like i told you to perplexity.com i put the question in protect perplexity.com now while he's doing that okay we're going to give him to add some more information so that the letter is more succinct okay give me a second um this is what i'm going to add And we're going to do this right here. 
he's finishing up, and I, I don't give up about him finishing up. He's a piece of crap. Hold on, y'all. And then we go up here. Uh, you know what? I'm listening to my one, two, three, four, but it sounds like. You guys don't know about Haven't You Heard? Oh, well, Haven't You Heard? <laughs> I've been searching for you. Haven't you heard? I haven't heard that. Dun, 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 dun. I haven't heard that song in a long time, y'all. Haven't you heard? Okay, now he's finished my letter. And if you notice, that's how much we paid. That was the serial number for the money order. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the tracking number showing that it was delivered on the 10th. Here is the credit card information that was used. Why are we doing this? Now watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Kevin, comma, thank you, comma, it is appreciated, comma, could you now incorporate the following into the letter, and that way I can go ahead and make amendments as necessary, question mark, stop listening, now, he's going to go ahead and finish this letter, and then I'm going to go ahead and make some corrections to it. This is a document day for me. I have a consult later today with a gentleman going over some things that I believe will be very helpful to that particular person. But what is necessary is for all of you to pay attention. You do the same thing with your motions. You go into perplexity.com. You make your statements. You already know what the law is. You know what the law says. Do not think that you don't know. You know that a judge cannot sit up there and violate your rights. I, 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 he doesn't get to do this. Hold on. We're going to get him to... Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. We, we have to correct something because he's an idiot. Okay, we're going to do all of this. Forget that. We're going to go all the way up. Okay, we're going to stop there. And now we're going to come here. Well, because Kevin's an idiot. So he's going to, he, he, the last part that he did, whoo -wee, he didn't even do it like he was supposed to. So we're going to do, get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of some other things that don't need get rid of that. And because he didn't add the thing about the number or that information right there. So now you see all that. Please do not hesitate to contact me. That was him acting as a paralegal. Now I'm going to put all of this in there and tell him to do it right. Give me one second. And we're not sending this to the clerk of the court. I want you to pay attention. Kevin. Wake up. Kevin, comma, you're making a lot of mistakes. Comma, I asked you to present this if it's as if it's written by a paralegal, versed in the aspects of filing a claim against the bonds of public officials. Comma, you wrote it as if it was written by a five year old. Comma, could you improve on the quality of your writing in the next 
rendition of the information I provide, period. Question mark. I need you to reword the following, incorporating every aspect of the following without leaving out any details, comma, and adding in the proper codes and or procedures as in your repository of information respecting the subject matter, comma, will you comply, question mark. Stop listening. He ain't gonna like me, y'all, but this is how you get things done with Kevin. And now he's adding in what I've already given him. And I am appreciative that he's putting in the information about the judges and the bond information and the so forth. Now, what happens here is what the court cannot do is it can't get around. Now, this is a lawsuit, not against the court. This is a lawsuit against public officials in their official and non-official capacity because they are bonded, ladies and gentlemen, just in case they should harm me or any other private party. You see, they're there to do a job. They're not there to violate my rights, and I'm getting ready to go, y'all, after everybody. With this very same process, this is an administrative process, ladies and gentlemen. All of you have been wondering and asking about what's the process for doing this? Well, this is an administrative process I'm showing you. You're following me? And so I'm showing you how to complete an administrative process. Uh, this is, oh, Casador. Okay, give me a second, y'all. Uh oh, I don't want to minimize that. I just want to get rid of this. I don't even know. Oh, this is the actual app. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to get back here. I thought that I had switched over to my uh, Mac. And so I could add more, but I don't need to add more to that. What I do is I have the general information and the codes for the state of Washington for filing a claim against that of public officials. And now we're going to take this and we're going to, wait, hold on. We're going we gonna to change up some things. We're going to change up some things. So let's go here, here, here. I like that better. And let's see. Okay, and now I can go and proofread it and take care of things. But this is what I want to let you know. This is all the relevant information, letting them know what they need to know. Tell them about the petition. Tell them what was included. This is what the summons, the petition, the blank subpoena, the cover letter. We gave them everything that they're required to have by law. Okay. Now it says I am writing to request information related to the filing of a claim against the bonds of the presiding judge, the clerk of the court. And hold on. Watch this. Wake up. Chief Administrator, for Seattle, Washington, and the presiding judge. Two, colon, the administrative office of the court all caps that, comma, Superior Court, Seattle, Washington. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, by doing it this way, by sending it to the administrative office of the court, what I get to do at this point, and I want you all to pay attention, I now get to do a petition to the federal district court and or the Supreme Court for the state of Washington to 
force them to follow the act. Now, should they not do that, then I get to do Rooker Feldman directly to the Supreme Court of the United States. And should they fail to do that, then I get to file a claim against the bond of the Chief Justice and the Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States. And we get to play this insurance game and game until these idiots finally start acting right. Again, two claims against your insurance makes you pretty much uninsurable. That's the standard. That's the so-called universal standard and policy. So they're going to change the policy as a result of me. I guarantee it because that's what I'm here to do. I set standards. So we're going to re set standards here. This is for the state of Washington. I'll be doing the same thing for the state of California. Because Rockham, where you at? R to the A to the KIM? I ain't no joke. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, thank you for letting me bring this to you in 26 minutes and 5 seconds. Gotta go.